right, so there's guys out there who get into software engineering just for the money. And they put in a half-assed effort. They don't even really try. And when they inevitably don't get any results, they'll be like, oh, it's the bad job market, bro. That's why I couldn't get in. And these guys don't get anywhere. Whereas there's other guys out there who work hard. And despite setbacks that come their way, they keep pushing and they get a high paying job in no time. I'm going to talk about the difference here specifically. I'll talk about my journey because I have a very non-traditional background, uh, you know, as far as getting into software engineering. And for most of my journey, I've been pretty trash at like, you know, typical computer science, mathematics, analytical stuff. And I've still been able to have a successful, well-paying career in the industry, right? So without further ado, let's dive into it. I remember clearly, I had just signed up for my CS degree. I was doing an online CS degree. And I'm looking at my book, and it's talking about Java objects, right? So I'm reading, and I don't understand a word of it. Like, it's talking about objects and how objects are like a blueprint. I'm like, what the is this, man? And I want to, like, bang my head against the wall and, like, throw my book across the room. Because, again, I don't understand a single word. And I remember I had to do an assignment related to Java objects. So I did that assignment, handed it in, and I was crossing my fingers, like praying that I just get a 50% on that assignment. And I got that assignment back, and I failed it. And at that point, I remember just sitting down and thinking, like, what am I going to do now? I took a bet on this coding thing, and I couldn't even pass this assignment. It looks like I'm going to fail the very first course that I took, right? But instead of giving up at that point, I kept reaching out for more resources, learning more, you know, through YouTube, et cetera. And I ended up finishing that course with either an A minus or an A. So going from, you know, just hoping I would pass the course, to ending with an A minus or an A, drastic difference, right? And how I got there was just by persistence, effort, persistent effort, right? Now, part of the issue is when you're in that kind of position where, you know, say you're, you're struggling like I had before and you go online for some help. You're going to hear people saying, oh, software engineering is only for smart people, bro. If you don't have that analytical background, if you're struggling so much, just give up, bro. Like, no, take that thought, throw it out the window. All right? We don't listen to those people. These people put a train of thought on us that doesn't serve us whatsoever. And if we listen to them, we're not going to keep pushing and ultimately get that high paying job that we deserve. Right. So, no, we don't listen to that. We're going to keep pushing forward. Now, the next thing that I remember is I was doing my discrete mathematics course. And again, got my textbook open and they're doing like basic algebra, like factoring out and things like this. And I'm, again, I don't understand a single word of it. I want to like burn this damn book, right? It's like, what is this? I don't understand it, right? And my math was so low level and bad. Like I literally barely remembered like long divisions and long division is like elementary school stuff, right? So what did I do at that point? I literally went to Professor Leonard's uh, uh, YouTube channel. I'll link it in the, in the description. Phenomenal resource if you're struggling with math. I went to his YouTube channel and I started watching his lectures from the elementary school level. From the elementary school level, I worked my way up to college algebra, right? And then I went back to discrete math and did half decent on that course. A part of the issue here, again, is if you're in, in that place of struggle, you go online for some help. Some people will gatekeep, like the gatekeeping around software engineering, frankly, is ridiculous, right? But some people will gatekeep, oh, if you're bad at math, just give up, bro. If you don't have that analytical mind, you won't make it, bro. Like, no, take that thought throughout the window, all right? We don't listen to those people. These people put a train of thought on us that's going to serve us horrifically. And again, it's going to prevent us from achieving our goal, right? So put those people to the side. We don't listen to those people. We're going to keep pushing forward. Now, the next thing I remember, when I was doing an interview, it was a remote interview. So I've got my laptop open. It's a Zoom call. And there, it's a panel interview, right? So three people. They're asking me questions and they're just grilling me, grilling me, right? Grilling me with questions and I don't know the answer to half of them. And I can literally hear the manager like laugh and smirk. He was, he was kind of being a dick if I'm being honest. And, and he was being quite rude, right? In that sense. But putting that to the side, point being, I'm just getting grilled. And of course I got rejected and I didn't end up uh, getting that job. And that's not the first time that I've had something like that happen. I've bombed tech screens before, did horrific on interviews, many interviews, right? And yet still, I have a successful, well-paying career in the industry. So don't let, again, th these are just temporary setbacks from the education, whether you're struggling with your classes, whether you're struggling with some sort of personal project you're building, or whether you're struggling at the interview phase. Remember, these are temporary phases. Keep on improving, keep on working hard, you will get to your goal. Now, I just want to end this video off by saying, hey, be kind to yourself throughout this process. This is not an easy journey whatsoever. My background is actually very similar to the former guy I described. 
which is I would get excited about something uh, and be like, oh, I'm going to do this. It's going to be great. And then let it go. Drop it like a hot potato within like two weeks. Right. And when I told people around me that, hey, I'm going to sign up for a CS degree, I'm going to do this. Like no one believed I would actually go through with it. Right. Because if you go to my background, I was a terrible high school student, didn't graduate high school on time. I had a criminology degree before. And even before crim, I did some general studies in college. And I failed a college course as well. And all throughout college as well, I was a pretty average college student, right? So when I told people, hey, I'm going to do this computer science degree online all by myself, right? There's people, people, people were literally discouraging me, like, are you sure you want to do this? And, and it wasn't like they were coming from a negative place necessarily. But they just didn't see me being able to complete it. Because I'd done so many, started so many ventures in the past that I would just drop within two weeks and never follow through on, Right? And again, it's not like I was coming from some sort of analytical math background or something like this. I'm coming from criminology, right? So from criminology, pivoting into this, doing my online CS degree all by myself, didn't have any sort of assistance on the job search or uh, on the courses, nothing, right? And building that all up by myself. And I can tell you it was not an easy process whatsoever, right? And when I started, I started my CS degree in December of 2019. And I got my first six-figure job offer August of 2021. And all throughout that middle almost two years, the most money I'd ever made was like a little above minimum wage, right? So it was like nothing, 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 no results, no results, no results, all six-figure job offer. So persistence is a big key here. Oh, you're going to be putting in all this effort day in, day out, day in, day out, and you're not going to see like the tangible results of it. But when you start to see results, they'll skyrocket. Right? So be kind to yourself. Be proud of yourself every single day for showing up. A lot of people will start this journey. Not many will stick with it. Right? So stick with it. I believe in you. But frankly, what I believe doesn't matter. What you believe matters. So I hope you believe in yourself too. And I just want you to imagine for a second. Imagine. You take this advice. You run with it. And your money is growing day by day by day. Right? You got enough money to go out with friends now. Got enough money to go out on dates and have fun. Because I didn't even have enough money for that. Right? I'd like borrow that from my parents, right? Now you have a job where you have a good work-life balance because before I was uh, commuting an hour and 30 minutes to a job that I dreaded going into as a customer service shop, have people yelling at me, commute an hour and 30 minutes back just to make a little above minimum wage. And now imagine you have a job with good work-life balance where you're getting paid well, where you don't dread going into work every single day. Imagine that. And that's the path you're on. They keep working hard again. I believe in you. But what I believe doesn't matter. What you believe matters. So I hope you believe in yourself too. And that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Ultimately, I want this to be our positive little community where we help each other, support each other, and help each other get to the next level in life. So please come join the community. I'll leave my Instagram, TikTok in the description and also somewhere over here. Please support there as well. Please do like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Peace.